Okay, so in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to install Ruby on Rails onto a Windows 7 box. Uh, most Rails developers use uh, some distribution of Linux when they're developing Rails applications, but more and more we're seeing um, development done on Windows machines, uh, especially with this, this Rails installer program, which is what we'll be using. Um, so the first thing you want to do is go to you want to go to railsinstaller.com and it's changed a little since the last time I was here but all you want to do here is scroll down and you want to download uh, Ruby version 1.9 you can see we also have 1.8 available um, and this is what's included in the package it's more than just Ruby on Rails it includes Ruby, Rails, Bundler, uh, Git, so we can use Git on our Windows machine, uh, SQLite database, and a couple other things. So we want to click on Windows Ruby 1.9 and download. I actually already downloaded it, so I'm going to cancel it. And we're going to run that. And it's just like installing any other uh, Windows software just agree to the licensing. Uh, you can install it where you want and I'd suggest that you keep install git checked as well as the executables option. Alright, so we want to leave this checked, this configure uh, git and ssh, so we want to click finish, and now it's going to ask for your name, and it will also ask for your email address. Okay, so what it's doing now is showing us our ssh keys and this is we could use this key if we want to use um, github or heroku or something like that some kind of version control system i'm not going to go into that in this particular video but i will make one um, in the very near future so we have we actually have ruby on rails installed on our machine now we can say uh, rails v gives us the version which is 3.2.13 and we could do Ruby V as well. We got version 1.9, and that's the latest version. So everything's all set. We can actually generate a sample app. And to create an app, all you need to do is do Rails and then name your app. I'll just say um, sample. Uh, I'm sorry, it's Rails new. Rails new sample and what it does is it generated it's generating all these files for us which is pretty much a framework uh, for, for our app um, all the basic files that it needs to run so if we go to our computer and C drive and we can we see the sites folder this is where our apps are going to be hosted um, and you can see the sample these are all the folders that were generated when I just did Rails new sample. So uh, a simple uh, three word command generated an entire MVC structure. You can see if we go in our app directory we have um, controllers, models, views. This is where we will cr we'll, we'll create all of our uh, all of our MVC structure. So we can actually test this out Rails actually comes with a, a server called Webbrick and to start the server you can either do Rails server or you can just do Rails S and that'll start up the server. I'm sorry you have to be in the apps directory so we want to go to um, CD sample and then do Rails S. Alright so it started up the server and your firewall might pop up like this I'm just going to allow access and put this off to the side. Uh, this our server is running. If you want to stop it, you can press Control C. We can actually go and check out our page, our app at localhost: colon three thousand. 
you can see we have a welcome aboard um, splash page this is actually our app uh, obviously we're gonna go we would go in and change it and create a real home page but you can see everything's up and running um, we did that in a matter of minutes so really easy to install Ruby on Rails on a Windows machine